Hello, how is everyone doing? It is your fallen angel, back with another video. Today, we are going over the intensity of the cravings in different persons and its relation with Brahmacharya. So, let us begin. Passion is a very strong desire. A mild desire becomes a strong passion by frequent repetition or frequent enjoyment. In a broad sense, passion means any strong desire. There is a passion for service to the country in Patriots. There is passion for God-realization in first-class aspirants. In some people, there is a strong passion for novel reading. There is passion for reading religious books, but generally in common parlance. Passion means lust or strong sexual appetite. This is a physical craving for sexual or carnal gratification. Now, the reason for this, the scientific reason for this is the reptilian brain that operates within the triune brain is what's operating for survival and reproduction. So it's a strong urge embedded in each human to continue your lineage, right? That's why we see so much content of such being portrayed on media and even in your day-to-day -day lives. When any sexual act is repeated very often, the desire becomes very keen and strong. The sexual instinct or the reproductive instinct in man involuntarily prompts him to engage in sexual acts for the preservation of his species. So the form of copulation is embedded in all men because they want to not only the nerve tingling that ends up that you end up feeling at the end of copulation is your brain telling you congratulations you did exactly what you're here for which is preserving your lineage passion is the instinctive urge for externalization through self-preservation and self multiplication it is the diversifying power which is directly opposed to the force that moves towards the integration of being. Passion is an effect or product of avidya. It is a negative vikara in the mind. Atman is ever pure. Atman is vimala or nirmala or nirvikara. It is nitya sudha. Avidya sakti has taken the form of passion for keeping up the lila of the Lord. You will find in the Chandi path or Durga Sabta Sati. This is going to be what was said. Yadevi Sarva Buetshu Karmarapena Samitstuta Namastasya 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 Namo Nama. It means, I bow to the Devi who has taken the form of passion in all these beings. So when we talk in terms of brahmacharya, it's not just the physical essence that we're looking for, the physical um, separation. We're looking for the mental part as well. This is how you become a full brahmachari, when you have the mental and the physical intertwined. Even Brahma, the creator, does not know the exact seat wherein passion lies. In the Bhagavad Gita, you will find it mentioned that the senses, the mind, and the buddhi are the seats of passion. The pranaimaya kosha, or the vital sheath, is another seat. Desire is a all-pervading in the body. Every cell, every atom, every molecule, every electron is su surcharged with passion. There are undercurrents, cross-currents, intercurrents, and submarine currents in the mighty ocean of passion. You must completely annihilate each one of them. You must completely destroy passion in all places in order to truly immense yourself in, in the practice of brahmacharya. Passion is a vritti or a modification that arises from the mind lake when the rajo guna predominates. Rajisic food such as meat, fish and eggs, rajisic dress and the rajasic way of living, sense, novel reading, cinema, talk on sensual things bad company, liquor, intoxicants, and all description, tobacco, all these excite passion. 
So guys, this was another video explaining the intensity of the cravings in different persons and its variability in nature. It does not always have to come down to the senses and it could be various things. So this is its relation to Brahmacharya. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Also like and subscribe. Feel free to check us out on Patreon, Rumble, Twitter, Instagram, things of that nature. This has been your Fallen Angel and I am out.